Hey everybody, welcome to the Wolfpack Man YouTube channel, a place for seeing old man opening old packs. Um, today, before I open a pack though, I would like to clear the air with respect to a post that a uh, Vikings fan put on my channel. Um, he accused me of being a scammer, of somehow or another opening packs, putting in good cards, and then resealing them to make it look like I get a lot of good cards and packs uh, on my YouTube channel. And um, t uh, that, you know, that happened yesterday, and honestly, that has really, really bothered me. Um, for for a couple reasons, um, you know, so that's why I. I felt like I had to address it. I, I responded to one of his posts, but he posted like three different negative posts, and I responded to one of them, and I deleted a couple of his other ones. Um, but um, I, I really want, you know, I want to respond with in, in video fashion as well. Um, so so one, of the, one of the main reasons that his post bothers me is because I'm freaking insanely honest person I you can ask anyone who knows me you can ask my wife you can ask my kids I have honestly spent a lifetime trying to set an example as a super honest hard-working pers person both on a personal level and a professional level and it and not only did it hurt me his post but it also angered me um, and, and because I, this is coming from someone who doesn't even know anything about me, and yet he feels it's okay to go on online and basically cyber bullying me. Um, so, so I feel that's why I'm responding. I'm from this. I'm the old school generation. You know, that's when we when we smell crap, we call out crap, and so I'm. That's what this basically is: is me calling calling crap on, on his negative posts uh reason two i don't know he he needs to look and think why why would i do that why would i fake packs on my channel i have you know if does he think i'm doing it for the money you know because to be honest you know i have about two thousand followers and i don't know how many of you know how youtube works as far as you know you get to a thousand followers in a certain number of hours and then they say oh you can put you can click a couple boxes it's all you really end up doing and then you get these advertisements on both ends of your video and sometimes even in the middle of your video but you don't know you know you don't control any of it other than clicking a couple boxes and and it, with with 2,000 followers, which is awesome, man, I love have that I have 2,000 followers, but this isn't 100,000 followers. This isn't 1.5 million followers. This is 2,000 followers, which means I get a check from YouTube, or I think it's called AdSense, there, that manages their advertising branch. I get a check once a month for about $125 to $150 for putting two videos a day out so 60 videos so what is that's that nets to you do the math that's like three dollars a video is my is what I'm making in the meantime I'm spending right now because I want to you know because I you know I, I I knew I was going to run out of my 2000 packs so I started going on eBay and buying you know I, I told you guys about it I bought graded packs I've bought I've gone back and bought some of the older wax because I think the older wax is cool and I'd rather open older wax even though when you buy an older wax, kind of like what you see on the screen here, you don't know if they've been searched and resealed. I, I certainly don't. You know, They're not from my original 2000. And even then, when I got those older, the 70s and 80s packs, that was after I'd started the unopened packs collection. So I had to go back and those were, you know, could, could be questionably searched. So all the old wax stuff is suspect. Again, I'm trying to get graded. I'm trying to get blister packs. I've even found a few packs that were, you know, like from the 90s and 2000s that were packs that I hadn't collected because I, you know, when I was collecting, I was, it was, you know, I went through phases where sometimes I didn't collect, you know, I might, might not get to the card store for a couple months because I'd have life 
happening and had to do other things. So so there were gaps. There were gaps in my collection that I've gone back and tried to actually pick up some of those packs as well on, on eBay. So and even like again, these like came from the local antique store and I just bought these today. I bought again, you those of you who've been following my channel, you know I've been chasing Cal Ripkins Jun, Jun, Jr.'s rookie card. You also know that card is not worth nearly what I've already spent on it because I've bought about 12 of these Dunruss packs at 12 bucks a piece now from the local antique store. So that's like $144 worth of this. And I think I, these are this two more to go with the two I've already bought. So there's four of these, but they're 15 bucks a piece. You know, here's the receipt. I'm not, not making these numbers up. And I, and, and that, so I've spent, so that's like $200 I've spent already. And even if I got a Cal Ripken and it was a 10, is it even going to be worth $200? I, you know, so it's, so I'm not buying this stuff. I'm buying this stuff because I'm having fun and I want to extend beyond the 2000 collection, but there's no way I'm going to be buying stuff to extend it into infinity. I, at some point, I will run out of packs and I will say, wow, that was so much fun and thanks every thank everybody for thank my son for the idea and everyone, but I'm not gonna just keep rolling money into eBay and places to to keep um bringing packs out. I just you know, it's it, this has been a huge fun part of my start of my retirement and transitioning to retirement and, and I'm enjoying the heck out of it still and I hope to enjoy it for another three, four, five months, who knows, but it but it is you know, there is a light at, or I, I, it's not, a, there is a train at the end of that tunnel at some point. It's definitely going to end. Um, so, so that's, so it's for, but the bottom line is to, to the Vikings fan, this definitely is not about the money. So I'm not doing, I'm doing it because it's damn fun. That's why, which is, which is what I, which is what I had written down on my little cheat sheet here is, is reason number three is the, the main reason I'm doing I am having a blast doing this my son gave me the idea and I ran with it and it's been 16 months now and you know and there weren't a ton of followers I had you know 50 followers after six months and then it really ramped up at, at like the eight or nine month but it, it you know it's and it's just been a blast chasing getting to the 2000 level but it there's I have no intentions of the, getting to 10,000 or any number like that it was hit 2 is awesome I hit 2000 and I'm just going to be thrilled if I don't even climb one more person or if it even starts to go the other direction, I don't care I'm still having a blast doing it sitting here in my house ha I'm just having fun and having someone call me a scammer you know uh, on my, on a post on my you know that's not fun <laughs> and, and that that's that would really be motivation for me to stop doing this but but the when I because I have a lot of other things I could do that are fun I you know obviously my pickleball freaking love traveling all over I'm trying to get my wife to agree to go to England with me and play in the English pickleball open um, so I travel but I even now I've traveled California Florida. New York, every, everywhere playing pickleball. I love, I love it. And my wife and I have a have a camper van, and we just like to travel and enjoy our our each other in a camper van. We have we have six grand. I have six grandkids. I love spending time with them, including including going to all the air activities. I I kayak. You know, my grand one of my granddaughters next weekend has a ballet recital. She's six, and 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 so things like that. That and I and I worked forty five years of my life, and now I'm doing fun things. And being accused of being a scammer is not fun. And but I'm not. I couldn't just leave it at letting him bully me and just say attack with it. I'm just shutting everything down. So and you want to know why I couldn't do that? Because ninety nine point nine percent of you who have been following my channel have been freaking awesome. Amazing, you know, Dickie V, you awesome baby. You know, amazingly supportive. I can't tell you I can tell you I can tell you guys get excited about the hobby just like me. We're we're kind of kindred spirits there. I can tell that Many of you really enjoy the 70s and 80s stuff. That really flips a switch for a lot of you. And that's back at a time when it, when it, the hobby wasn't about high dollar cards. It was more about priceless collecting moments and memories, you know, that, you, that you've been so 
amazing to share with me over time. You know, this card triggers this memory or this card triggers that memory that was either about a certain player or, a, you know, or, or, or a collecting um thing that you that you guys did that story so i just i love hearing those those that that's why i'm i i love you know i want to capture all these packs and my son's idea was you know hey let's capture the history of this of pack collecting with because you collected so many packs and i'm definitely doing that but 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 honestly the the a big part that i never anticipated was how much i've enjoyed um, really spending time online with all of you, the 99.9% who, who, who enjoy the hobby and bring positive energy to the channel and good karma. And, you know, you guys, you know, you, you guys are my virtual lobster shirts, if, if you know what I mean. So thanks to all of you. The year why I, I'm enjoying, I've enjoyed it and I'm going to keep pushing forward to enjoy it. And, uh, and I, and we're not going to let the cyber bullies out there uh take detract from that that enjoyment um and then one last thing that i want to do uh clearing the air uh, before i actually get i'm going to open one of these packs <laughs> i'm going to end on a positive note or maybe a negative note because i'm sure there won't be a cal ripkin <laughs> jr in the back but uh but uh we're gonna i'm gonna do that uh but but um i want i want to clear the air with respect to uh you know again 16 months ago i i, I started this channel and basically, it was just me sitting here and videotaping. I'm not doing this live streaming, obviously. I'm videotaping myself opening packs. And if I got a dud pack, you know, what, and what I feel is a dud is, you know, there were no rookies. I mean, no rookies at all. No cool inserts. No good Hall of Famers. You know, I would, I would kind of, I'd videotape the episode and I'd say, well, who the heck wants to watch that? That, that episode sucked. I would call it a zip episode or a sad trombone episode that that was my catchphrase for them i would actually label it zip episode and i stick it in a folder on my computer and i at some point i thought well i will eventually upload all those kind of dud episodes but more from a historical perspective of you know well someone might still want to see that that particular what those cards look like back then that particular pack of cards in in the set that you know the underlying sets but but um you know when viking you know so but but again i would videotape that's a dud okay i'm not posting that one but oh this card i got you know i got a couple hall of famers i'll post that one. Oh, look i got and again 2000 packs that equates to what like you know if you if say boxes had 24 packs in them you know you're talking hundred boxes i think about a hundred boxes of cards and and usually in a box you get a couple jersey cards and an autograph card so so in theory i should have like 50 to 100 autographs and 200 jersey cards just by average so the fact that i have these packs where i'm finding this stuff is not it's pretty much Ah, the odds, you know, because I freaking bought two thousand packs and they were all different. So, so again, you know, I'm gonna I, what I'm gonna do moving forward to, uh, you know, I'm gonna start loading some of my what I call stinker packs, and I'm but I'll label them stinker packs, you know, and these are just gonna be packs that are kind of full of just commons, but. And those of you who don't really want to see a pack open with a bunch of commons, then you don't watch it. That's that's about the best I can do, you know, because um, because obviously some people think, geez, he only gets good cards and packs, and that's not true. I have plenty of packs that have been stinker packs. As a matter of fact, these packs right here have primarily been stinker packs. <laughs> My two hundred dollars worth of chasing Cal Ripken, and I did get a Lee Smith out of that, but you, you know. That that's kind of been it. So again, to to the ninety nine point nine percent of you who've been unbelievably supportive over the last sixteen months, you know, thank you. You brought a lot of joy to my heart um, with your positive comments, your humorous comments. Your you know, I love Montreal and his correction of my brutal English slang. <laughs> and, I mean, it keep it keeps it down to earth. Uh, along with the stories about your own uh, collecting experiences or meeting famous athletes, you know. So thanks everybody from the bottom of my heart that that has meant the world to me. Um, so here I am, Dunruss tops, Dunruss tops. You know I have struck out freaking 
10 times now with Dunris, so I'm kind of leaning towards the Dunris. Um, <laughs> plus, there's no gum in the Dunris, and you know how I feel about the gum, so so uh, let's let's do let me set these other packs off to the side, and we will uh, we'll get going with uh, let's eeny meeny miny. <laughs> we'll, we'll do this one, and these these guys are for another day, and uh, and thanks for letting me ramble on. You know, for those of you who stuck through that whole video, I appreciate it, and uh, cow 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 cow. <laughs> positive let's think positive cow it's today's the day <laughs> you know good karma good karma but i don't i don't know all right we've got a pete rose and mike schmidt card <laughs> off the back which oh and it even references here i am looking for the gum <laughs> so funny <laughs> it even references uh Ty Cobb's all-time hit record. Oh, Stan Musial's. Wow, so that Rose hadn't broke the record yet? Okay, so let's take a look at the front. Whoops, that's not, that's not it. Oh, look at that card. That is a cool card. I've, I've honestly never seen that card before. Here. Pete Rose and Mike Schmidt. That's a cool card. So good start. The rest can all be duds. I'm already happy because I got that card. Uh, Jesse Orozco. Whoops. Of course we got the Babe Ruth. Puzzle piece. I have a lot of Babe Ruth puzzle pieces, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, John Littlefield. Calvin Edwin Ripken Jr. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Viking. The Viking dude is going to swear. <laughs> oh my God. This is not good, is it? <laughs> okay. It is what it is, isn't it? It's Cal. It's not centered well. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh man, do I edit out all that front that I just I went on a diatribe? I screw it, <laughs> screw it a minute. I'm, everything, everything I said is true. I'm holding by everything. I don't care. This is <laughs> that's called good karma. That's flat out. That's good karma. Leon Roberts, fudge. <laughs> Leon Roberts, that name sounds really familiar. Um, Tim Stoddard. Uh, Gene Mock. Coach or manager card. <laughs> Leon Bull Durham. That's a cool card. Everyone makes a big deal out of that ball that went between the legs of... Uh, crap who was that Red Sox first baseman but that same kind of thing happened to Leon Durham in the playoffs too to keep the cubby curse moving forward I st that's I mean I love Leon but man I still remember that it's, it's vivid in my mind uh Rafael Ramirez uh Jaron Royster Jerry Royster sorry Robert Babcock, uh, Robert Brenly, George Frazier, uh, 
Julio Gonzalez and Bill Verdon. So there you go. <laughs> I got Cal's rookie card. Now I'm now I'm showing you this receipt today. I show you. I just bought this today, and this video I am gonna post tonight because uh, I want to get in front of this whole cyberbullying thing. But um, again, to the 99 percent percenters out there, man, I love you guys. I thank you for all the joy that you've given me over over the last 16 months, and uh, and I'm looking forward to another four or five months of of the same kind of joy and I hope you understand where I'm coming from and if you don't I respect the fact that we you know we can agree to disagree um you know because that's 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 when you get old you understand you can't you can't you gotta everyone has their own opinion about things so uh anyways today you heard a big part of my opinion about my whole web my whole YouTube channel and why and and then I totally pulled a Cal Ripken Jr. But I'm telling you, this freaking good karma. <laughs> you know I got, you know I have three more packs where I'm not going to get a Cal. So stay tuned. <laughs> See you guys later.